Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh. Today we're looking at my all-wheel drive drift tune for this Cupra. Um, what do we call this thing? The Tavascon Concept. It's an electric car. Um, but either way, it's got, you know, 1,147 horsepower. 1,266 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is a torque monster. Here's the share code for it. Got it? Great. Yeah, it, it's not too bad, and it's free. Hey, free cars are the best cars, right? Don't have to pay, you know, you know, pay the car, pay for the car, um, and all that, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, you, of course you have to pay for the upgrades, but that is what it is. So, anyways, here's what I can get done with it. You know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad for a free car. It's the one gear wonder. And it handles quite well. I had to really work the uh, differential to get this thing to be really smooth for you guys. You might have to use the e-brake every once in a while. You know, just to, you know, kick the back end out a little bit. But other than that, it's not too bad. For a free car, hey, 1.115, not too bad for a free car. My best right there is 1168. So, you know, but that is from a gas-powered vehicle, not from an electric. But yeah, that there you go. There's, there's everything, right? <laughs> so let's get into this thing. Now, of course, I painted this a little different color. I have the Hot Wheels. Uh, I went with like, like a little pink, reddish, you know... Uh, color to this thing. Uh, it's got the race motor and battery parts gives you all that power All right, you come over here and you have a conversion of course and it's the 670 uh, horsepower race motor you got the stock uh, You know Motor battery swap whatever you want to call it, you know, but this takes you all the way up to the top I just left everything uh, stock uh, when it comes to you know the arrow um, we have the snow tire compound I am sold by snow tire compound I think it's better than drift compound I think drift is like a step above like you know or maybe even a step below um, race tire compound probably a step below race tire compound and then you know we got snow tire compound and I think that is below um, drift tire compound by a lot I think you can really get a good slide out of there um, you know, um, where is, there's drift, com yeah, look at that, grip. You get more grip with a drift tire compound than with the snow tire compound. So why would you want it? You want to get as much slide as possible out of your ride, right? Right. Either way, everything is stock for the, for the, uh, tire width. You know, you want to keep them as thin as possible. You want to get that ultimate slide out of the vehicle. Here I'm using the uh, TC105Ns, and then it's one of the lightest rims in the game, um, and I really like the look of it on every single car I put it on. Uh, we've got the race drive line, and we have a drift differential. Here we have race brakes, in case you want to try to stop, and we have race springs and dampeners because this thing doesn't have... A drift kit on the car that's okay I tuned it for um, you know drifting of course and everything else in, in control and handling that's what I do you know it's like I I've been tuning before the drift kit came on to Forza Motorsport in Forza Horizon um, so I'm used to it either way moving on got the race anti-roll bars for the front and the race anti-roll bars for the rear no roll cage, and as light as possible. I mean, we're saving over a thousand pounds. Uh, I don't know if they like change the battery type to maybe save some weight. I'm not sure, um, but that's a lot of poundage um, from basically a car that is just basically a shell and batteries. Honestly, you know they're they're, they're trying to make the car as light as possible to begin with for range right so where'd the thousand pounds 
I don't know. It is what it is. Car Mastery, as you can tell, I don't have anything on there. Um, I haven't even looked at all this stuff to see what you get. Oh, look at that. You get 15,000 credits for free. Basically, I mean, the car's free, right? So you and, and they're paying you to take the car. Interesting. So let's get into everything. Um, now, you know, it's got a top speed of 145.5. I tried 155.5, and I just felt like it wasn't there. So I brought it down 10 miles an hour, and I feel like it's, it's right where it needs to be. Um, here's the gearing. As you can tell, it really isn't gearing. It's called gear. Okay, because there's only one gear. All right. Um, you got the uh, camber toe. And front caster, I really worked the uh, rear toe just a little bit. I first had a 2.1, it just wasn't enough, so I started working with it. And this is where I was really happy. All right, we've got the anti-row bars, they're just maxed out, okay? you got springs, stiff as a board. Um, and plus, if you want to change anything and you want that, that perfect uh, point zero, go all the way up to stiff and it will zero out for you and you'll be set. I decided to make the uh, ride height uh, exactly the same. I tried to go all the way up as high as I could go to see how it would work. I didn't like it. I evened them out. Okay. Dampening's 21, 20, and 20. There's no downforce to worry about. We already talked about that. Braking, I have uh, hundred. Uh, I have 70% to the front. 130% pressure. It really helps uh, when you hit your brakes, your back end swings out. That's what that's for. Differential is 76, 86, 97, 97. And it's actually only 55% um, going to the rear. I've, I, I tried 71. I tried 86. But it was, well, I tried 86 first. And I, I started working my way down. Um, and it was just too tell whippy. If you understand, it was whippy. Um, so uh, to control that, I... Just kept on working on it, and I got 55%. And that's where we're at. So let's take her outside, show you guys. Yeah, it, it's it's smooth, you know. I mean, it takes off really quick. And here, I'm just tapping my throttle. I'm not touching my steering wheel, and it's just drifting with the heat. See, there's the wheel. You can see the wheel right there, of course. But, yeah, it definitely drifts with ease and when you turn the wheel you turn you know and it works look at that look how beautiful that is that's around 12,000 rpm right yeah so there's that take that beautiful and yes it's loud it's electric Electrics are loud. We we got that from the Porsche, you know, Mission R. That thing was a screamer. That thing was an absolute screamer. But yeah, it, it's a gorgeous car, and I really like the uh, the paint here that I have on it. Um, let me just show you guys. Everything used to be smooth on. Um, switching from little sections and now i feel like it, it snags but yes so there it is there's the uh current is the hot wells right there so uh that's the one i'm using for it um it's an absolutely gorgeous color uh you know we, we got purple on there and that that looks really good too you know um you got orange you know and so on and so forth but I decided on this. It really pops. It really looks good out there and people can see what I'm actually driving. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, definitely hit that like button. Um, I do this for you. I enjoy doing it and uh, I will continue on enjoy doing it. Makes sense? Well, that's who me it is. It, it does. It does. It does. Either way. Either way. Stay sideways, my friends.